Meghan Markle has said the birth of her first child is going to be a surprise, but if the decorations at her lavish baby shower are any indication, she may be welcoming a little girl. The 37-year-old royal's $300,000 baby shower took place in New York City this afternoon in the Mark Hotel's incredible grand penthouse suite, which costs a staggering $75,000 per night, making it the most expensive hotel room in the U.S. Decorations for the exclusive fate, which is reportedly being co-hosted by Serena Williams and Amal Clooney, began arriving on Tuesday, and there was plenty of pink from the blush-colored roses to the cotton candy machine that was brought into the hotel. Dozens of light pink long-stem roses from Upper East Side florist Lady Fleur NYC were carried into the venue on Tuesday, and those weren't the only floral arrangements of the color to be seen. Another rack of flowers that was being wheeled into the mark featured rows of bouquets, many of which were pink or orange. A Carnival King cotton candy machine was also spotted being delivered to the hotel on Wednesday ahead of the shower. While cotton candy can be blue, the fluffy confection is more often associated with the color pink. Even some of the guests who attended the shower were donning the color. Gail King was seen arriving in a bright pink pink dress and pastel colored heels while carrying a colorful gift bag that featured fuchsia stripes and polka dots. Canadian stylist Jessica Moroni sported a dark salmon turtleneck and matching heels, and another guest carrying a white box tied with pink ribbon had on a pale blush pleated skirt. Amal Clooney stood out in a red jumpsuit and gold heels, and while it wasn't pink, the color could easily be associated with a baby girl. Many of the guests carried white bags and presents, including newly engaged designer Mishianu, who is credited with introducing Meghan and Prince Harry. Upon her arrival, she was seen carrying a large white bag from high-end interiors company Renier Bella into the hotel. Trainer Taryn Toomey, the creator of the celebrity love workout called The Class, arrived at the event carrying two large white bags and a large sports bag. Onlookers have been paying special attention to the gift bags that have been brought into the hotel and Meghan's former Suits co-star Abigail Spencer led some to believe that the expectant mom may be carrying a baby boy. On Tuesday, Abigail, 37, was seen entering the Mark Hotel holding a blue floral gift bag that was stuffed with blue tissue paper. However, some actually thought the floral design was a sign that Meghan is having a baby girl. Flowers equals Mother Earth equals Mother Nature equals Mother equals Woman equals Girl she's having a girl," one Twitter user wrote. The actress may have been trying to be more discreet on the day of the actual shower when she was seen walking into the hotel carrying what looked like another gift that she kept hidden in a brown paper bag. Despite the effort, a hint of blue tissue paper appeared to be peeking out of the bag. While the party decor suggests that Meghan may be having a girl, it's also possible that she and Prince Harry are waiting until the day their royal baby is born to find out the gender. Earlier this month, the Duchess of Sussex was captured talking to a guest about her unborn child at the Endeavour Awards. We don't know, she says in the clip shared by the royal fan Instagram account at Harry underscore Meghan underscore updates. Yes, we decided to keep it a secret, and then that way. It's one of those things, like, no matter what it is, it's still going to be a surprise. Royal commentator Victoria Arbiter recently stated that it is royal philosophy to keep the baby's gender a secret until the day of the birth. There's a belief that there are so few surprises left in life why not save the biggest one for the moment a child is born, she told Honey.9.com. This is not just a royal philosophy, many parents across the UK choose not to find out. Kate Middleton and Prince William kept the sexes of all three of their children a secret until after they were born, and they were public about their decision not to even learn the gender of their babies before they were born. While this is typically a standard rule for members of the royal family, Queen Elizabeth II has not made it an official ban. From shunning nude tights to sporting dark nail polish, Meghan is known to be a royal rule breaker and it's possible that she knows the sex of her baby but is keeping mum. Victoria also stated that baby showers are typically not held, but the Duchess has already broken this protocol with her luxurious and highly publicized shower that has been dominating headlines this week.
According to the royal commentator, the royals are very wealthy and a lavish baby shower would be seen as highly inappropriate because there's nothing they can't go out and buy themselves. Last month, bookmakers were forced to suspend the market on the gender of Meghan and Harry's baby after an overwhelming number of bets were placed on the royal couple welcoming a girl. The pregnant duchess is due to give birth to her first child with Prince Harry in April, but the gender of the baby is not yet known. However, in mid-January, Betfair received a flurry of activity betting on a baby girl and was forced to stop taking bets on the sex of the baby. Additionally, they saw the odds of the couple naming their child after Harry's late mother Diana, who tragically passed away in 1997 aged just 36, rocket to an 8-1 favorite. We haven't seen too much betting on this market for a while, but tonight all of a sudden we have seen a flurry of betting activity on the baby to a girl, Betfair spokesperson Katie Bayless said. So much so that we've had to suspend the market and stop taking bets on the sex of the baby. If the punters are anything to go by, then we could have a new princess in a couple of months' time. Speaking about potential monikers for the royal baby, she added, Diana is the 8-1 favorite with Alice at 13-1 and Grace at 14-1 for the name of child. In October, during their tour of Australia, Harry revealed his hopes to have a baby girl with his wife. Harry was heard making the frank confession after a spectator congratulated him on the pregnancy at an Invictus Games event in Sydney. In a candid moment captured on camera, a bystander was heard shouting, Congratulations, I hope it's a girl, to which Harry responded, So do I. The couple could be permitted to choose a more unique name for their baby, as second in line to the throne Prince William and his wife Kate have already given their three children traditional names. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are parents to Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3, and Prince Louis, who was born in April. Carolyn Harris, author of Raising Royalty, 1000 Years of Royal Parenting, previously told Vogue Australia. The further down the line of succession, the more likely you are to have a more unique or untraditional name. Previous reports speculated that Meghan could give birth sooner than initially thought, however, during an outing to Birkenhead last month, Meghan told a bystander that she is due in April. The Duchess revealed that she is six months pregnant with her first child expected in April as she chatted to well-wishers in the northwest town of Birkenhead during her and Prince Harry's first joint engagement of the year. She also claimed that they don't know whether they're having a boy or a girl because they want it to be a surprise. Following the birth of their firstborn child, Meghan and Harry will move to Frogmore Cottage at Windsor Castle, which is currently being refurbished. Additionally, recent reports claim Meghan and Harry are rumored to be taking their baby on an official tour of the U.S. and Canada in the autumn. According to Vanity Fair, the former Suits star is set to return to both her former homes for a tour that will take place in late 2019 after she has taken a short maternity leave from royal duties.